So DVT um, is short for deep vein thrombosis, uh, also known as uh, blood clots in the veins. Um, it uh, refers to a condition where the main deep veins in the leg or the abdomen uh, become filled with blood clots. Um, it's a serious condition. It's a common condition. Um, so around one in a thousand uh, people uh, every year will develop a DVT. Um, and so in the UK, hundreds of thousands or millions of people have had deep vein thrombosis. Um, the main causes of DVT are not fully understood, um, but we do know that there are certain situations that make you more likely to get a DVT. Um, so particularly um, being in hospital, having an operation, uh, being on a long haul flight or immobility, these are all recognized uh, factors that can cause a DVT. But often there are other um, factors uh, in uh, the individual's medical history. So uh, if they've got other medical problems, um, if they're not particularly mobile, or potentially if somebody has a, a blood clotting problem where their blood is more likely to clot, then these are all uh, potential reasons. Um, a lot of people who develop DVT have no obvious uh, cause. Um, and so this is one of the great challenges in, in treating DVT um, is to try and work out the best treatment for those people where there isn't any obvious cause. So deep vein thrombosis or blood clots in general are, are very serious. Um, they're a, a, a potentially a, a, an important uh, and very common cause of people dying actually in the UK um, and around the world. Um, and, and so it's a condition that we have to take very seriously. Um, now, COVID-19 um, has obviously been studied extensively in the last two years, and we know that people who have COVID-19 infection, particularly serious COVID-19 infection, are at much higher risk of developing blood clots um, in the lungs, but also in other parts of the body uh, than the normal population. Um, so it's obviously extremely important that, uh, that this is recognised and, and uh, certainly in the hospitals where I work, um, there are clear protocols and pathways for trying to prevent blood clots um, because of this very strong link um, with COVID-19. So the most common symptoms of DVT are pain and swelling in the leg, particularly the lower leg and often the leg is red, it's inflamed, it's heavy, um, and so these are the common symptoms. So, so if somebody has symptoms that um, are, are as I've described, then this should um, result in, in seeking urgent medical attention because it's important to get a scan and some blood tests to make the diagnosis and to understand whether or not you have a thrombosis. Um, in some people, the symptoms are, are less obvious, um, but those are the most common symptoms. Pain, swelling, redness, heaviness of the leg. So infection with COVID-19 is a, is a significant risk factor for developing deep vein thrombosis or DVT. Uh, and so uh, obviously efforts to try and prevent infection with vaccination are all extremely important. Um, the other uh, important uh, contributing factor with COVID is that any sort of immobility increases your risk of getting thrombosis. And so even the patients who weren't uh, particularly severely infected with COVID-19 or didn't need to go to hospital, if they were more immobile at home or spent more time uh, in bed or didn't, weren't as active as normal, then this will also increase the risk of getting, COVID, uh, getting a deep vein thrombosis. Um, and so the, the DVT rates um, have almost certainly increased because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So the, the treatment of DVT in the early phase, um, the most important treatment is blood thinning medication or anticoagulation. Um, and so once a diagnosis of DVT is made, then uh, almost always people are started on blood thinning medication, sometimes injections, but usually tablets. And the duration of the blood thinning medication will uh, depend on the cause of the DVT and where the DVT is. So, so blood thinning medication is the most important initial treatment. There's quite a lot of recent evidence that actually compression stockings or compression treatment on the leg can have a really positive outcome as well. So, so we would normally recommend that uh, people also uh, wear compression, uh, use, usually with stockings, to try and reduce the swelling and improve symptoms. Now. 
down the line, um, some people with deep vein thrombosis develop a condition called post-thrombotic syndrome or PTS. Now, this is an important condition. This occurs when the veins become scarred and damaged after a deep vein thrombosis. And this can be a really significant cause of uh, pain, um, swelling and significant symptoms in the leg which can last for many, many years um, after the deep vein thrombosis. Um, and again, it's important to emphasize that although the deep vein thrombosis was the cause, the scarring in the veins is what causes these, causes these long-term symptoms. Now, the good news is that there's been significant advances in the treatment of post-thrombotic syndrome, and there are all sorts of uh, cutting edge techniques and stents that are now available to try and help people with this uh, really uh, important and miserable complication of deep vein thrombosis.